Hugo Booga. Hello, hello, testy testing. Big. This is my big head. Hello. Look at my hair. That's what happens when you can't leave the house. Hi, so I'm here to wave my hands around and be very excited. I'm talking today about the very, very excellent Huawei Freebuds Pro. Um, it's a little shiny, so it kind of gets fingerprints on it. But, so this is the charging case. Let's start with that. And we're going to go on to the amazing update on their watch later. But first, the earbuds. So, Freebuds Pro. They come in this excellent, very nicely put together carry case, which is also USB-C charging case. So, <clears throat> this can go in your pocket, fits nicely, and it will charge them when you're not using them. And they're magnetic, so they need a little bit of grip on them. There you go in there. Close that. And you see these little black sensors here. If you can see that, they know when they're in your ear or they're not. So when you put them in your ear, they connect and you go to ding dong. And right now they're on noise cancelling, so my voice sounds super weird. But when you take them out, they'll pause the music. When you put them in, they'll play. There's also the um, awareness mode, so you can still hear the outside world when you're listening to music. And then there's the noise cancelling, when you can't hear anything, which is bliss when you're traveling, if you're commuting, or if you just want to block out someone uh, when you're on a phone call for work, for example. So I'm on Zoom all the time. And it's really nice to be able to isolate exactly what I'm talking about or who I'm listening to. And I don't have to worry about my daughter playing in the background or if there's a TV on or if there's, there's a building site across the road. So they're doing stuff there. And it's, it's just nice to be able to block all that out and even just play some nice sort of jazz or ambient music. Um, the sound is incredible, it's really good and they connect really, really nicely with any kind of phone. So I've got a P40 Pro here, um, but you can use it on your iPhone or your Android or whatever else. Um, it's, they're, they're really good. Um, so if you've got the, what is that, Apple AirPods, um, I've tried them, these seem better to me, um, just the sound quality and the fit. Um, I found that air, air buds, air pods fell out quite often, but these, like I, I use them when I'm on my exercise bike, if I'm out running or jogging or anything, and they don't, they don't even wiggle. Oof, man, that was too much. Um, so I usually use them for pretty much all of my work day. Um, and it's really nice, so if someone's on Skype or Zoom or whatever, they, they just pop up and I can hear them, and I can speak through them, I can um, answer calls by pressing the button, and it connects to multiple devices, so it connects to my phone as well as the computer, so it knows what I'm doing, and if I'm walking off and I've got my phone in my pocket, I don't have to go through settings or anything to connect, it just, it knows. I don't know how it knows, it just does. Next up is the Huawei Watch GT2 Pro. And I've had the GT2, the GT. I've had the GT for a long time, and I loved it, really, really good. So the Huawei Watch GT2 Pro, and I'm gonna read this off the computer so I don't get it wrong. Health tracking features that are at their most advanced yet with upgraded Huawei True Screen TM 4.0 plus, providing more accurate heart rate readings. Huawei introduced new workout modes including skiing, cross country skiing, snowboarding and golf driving range. So when you're hitting the golf ball, it can measure the speed and the velocity, I suppose, of your arms and it's crazy. And with skiing, it knows altitude and speed and heart rate and distance traveled and it's amazingly clever. I'm not even going to start to figure out how it knows, it just does it. Um, <clears throat> and also it's really nice, so I mean that's the most important thing I think with fitness watches or watches as general, like the features are cool but if it doesn't look good, you, then they sort of, it's pointless. Like I had a Fitbit and it was useful but it didn't look good and so I don't want to wear it, I don't want to be seen wearing it. But with 
the Huawei, <clears throat> it looks beautiful and the screen is just stunning. Like it's like the Huawei um, phones where the screens just seem to be the sharpest of anything possible. Um, but it has, I can, I can, you know, scroll around and I'm not even going to go through the demo because it's just too much. But you've got the weather, you've got notifications, you've got a compass. Um, to collaborate it. Hey, look. So now it knows where I am north. You can see that. So where are the mountains? North. I can see them over there. Um, talk to uh, your your music collection. So if you're out running, you don't even need your phone. You can store music on your watch and your Freebuds Pro will connect to the watch, which is really good. So you don't need your phone or wallet or anything else. Just make sure you've got your keys so you're not locked out of the house. But you can go running and you just need your watch and your headphones, and that's really nice. I use it for um, keeping track of my uh, workouts on my spin bike, so I can tell um, the amount of calories I've burned, the, how long I've been working out for. It sells me updates every 10 minutes or so. Um, Thing you've worked out for 10 minutes, calories burnt, average heart rate, rate. and it, it's it's really useful. Um, it the watch features are really nice as well. I mean, I have it on the, the pretty s sort of standard smart looking watchy watch one. Uh, it's got the date, um, how much battery's left in it. Uh, I've got two time zones, steps. Um, you know, what else do you need? There's a, a cool new one with like the constellations on, which is really nice. Um, but for general use, like I just want it to look like a really good watch, and it does, and it feels nice. It's light, it's not too thick either. So, um, oh, and the thing that I tell people about this watch, and they don't really believe it, like, mm, is that true? It's got a two week battery. So, with the like when I had a Fitbit, uh, that lasted about three or four days, I think, for the battery, and you charge it up and whatever. Uh, and you charge it up through this, so you plug the USB thing on this, and it's it doesn't have any uh, connectors like the GT did, so this has magnet. So you just put it on, um, and you plug in the USB-C cable to it, which is really nice. And then just charge it up, and it charges it, I don't know, half an hour maybe? The screen on this is gorgeous, but the battery is just incredible. It's so nice not to have to think about it. So I can go on a camping trip or um, like hiking or go on vacation or something, or just being at home and not having to worry about having to charge it up every night is really, really nice. So I can, I wear it to sleep and I can track my sleeping. Um, and sometimes I just take it off and like from a shower or something and then uh, leave it on the side and then I'll pick it up in a day or two, I mean, it's not like I'm going out anywhere. Um, and the battery's still like 80%. It's brilliant. There's also an option for a Huawei Watch Fit, which is a smaller one. It's, it's kind of a cross between uh, an Apple Watch and a Fitbit, but with the tech of Huawei and the beautiful screen and the watch faces look even better. I haven't personally tried it, but from the pictures and the videos, it looks really, really nice. So if you're looking for more of a smaller version, um, more fitness-based, rather than the sort of sleekness of a, a professional-looking watch, but also has all the, the fitness stuff in it, then I'd go for the Watch Fit. Um, 10 days battery life, quick workout animations, 1.6 inch, vivid AMOLED display. I mean, that's one thing that, I mean, I keep talking about it. It's just the, the display when you get it, it's like, oh, this is sharp. Yeah, I mean, if you have any specific questions about the uh, the watches or the phones or the uh, FreeBuds Pro, um, do it in the comments below and I can get back to you real quick. Um, thanks so much, Huawei, for continuing to work with me um, and sending me these things to try out and leave honest reviews because if I didn't like it, I, I wouldn't do the videos and I wouldn't talk about it because what's the point? Um, yeah, I use these all the time, like genuinely all the time. Um, actually, I've got to run because I've got another call now, so excuse me. Um, but yeah, thanks very much, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.